All right, so welcome back to CTR. Welcome back to the developer time trials. As sad as it is, we are actually starting to get towards the end of this series. We've only got eight tracks left and we're now going to get started on the bonus tracks. We're going to start with Twilight Tour, Prehistoric Playground, Spyro Circuit and Nina's Nightmare. All right, so Twilight Tour is going to be the first one. This is a Francis C. His time is 2.14.80. I'm sure I can negotiate my way around that. It's a shame that the series is going to be coming to an end soon. Honestly, I've been having so much fun doing it. Hey, I mean, it doesn't mean we can't do more ctr after i can try and think of something well i mean there's always online so twilight tour is going to be the first port of call let's see how we fare see if i can't get these all in a single attempt i don't really know how i feel about twilight tour to be honest i sort of when i when it first came out i was a bit indifferent about it and then I sort of started liking it a bit more, and then I sort of 180 back on it. I don't mind this track. I don't really like or dislike it, I don't think. There's definitely worse tracks. But there are also better tracks. Alright. So all I'm going to do here, I'm just going to hop around, make sure I get up on this pad. You have to hit that pad on top of the market stall. Because that is the big blue fire. And that is what you're going to be wanting for this. Because some genius decided that the two blue fire pads would give you different kinds of blue fire. One's got bitch blue fire, one's got big blue fire. So, you have to make sure you hit that one. And then don't lose that flame. Or hit an invisible wall, because some of them are still a thing. Well, that is wonderfully. A little bit faster than the last time. Let's see if I can't not cock it up this time. A little bit better. Now let's see if I can get this bit right. Get around here, U turn. Nearly fucked it up, but we're okay. We're surviving. I'm not entirely sure how, because I'm playing it really badly. Definitely not a strong point, this track. Alright. We just about made it through that. Let's see if we can negotiate this last lap. That's a bit better. That's what I kind of wanted to do last lap. You turn around there, straight into a drift. That's better. That's what we were going for the first time. And then I just completely forget to drift altogether around the corner. And is he going to catch me? I have faith that I can get to the line before him. <laughs> I can still get to the line before him. Yeah, I suck at this track. You suck. Suck! It's done, and I'm not doing it again. My Twilight Toilet has seen better days, let's put it that way. Prehistoric Piss Take is next, and that is a 2.22.78 by Hachuse. Big Man Mateo coming in with the time on this one, don't mind if I do. My Prehistoric used to be really, really bad. I have been working on it a little bit, so I'm hoping this one isn't going to go too bad. I've been trying to put some runs in, get a little better. All right, then, let's do this. You got a mind, Matt Yule. Cool. I'm going to do a little zigzag here, like so, and then we're not going to go all the way up this ramp, just sort of off the side of it. Now what I'm going to try and do is go over the... That's exactly what I didn't want to do, but do you know what, whatever. I lost fire anyway. Oh! Right, just jump over that. That's what I wanted to do the first time. And yeah, for some reason, you can just go straight through that tree. Like, it just doesn't even have a hitbox or nothing. Single, into another single. Take it tight around there. All right, here comes the tricky bit. The spiral. The bane of my life. That was probably as good as I've ever taken it. 
There is a much faster way you can do it. Like, you can skip one of the sections altogether. Needless to say, I have no idea how to do it. So I'm not going to attempt it. That's it. Keep it together. Jump it again. That's it. I can't tell you the number of times I try and go over that jump and I accidentally drift over it. It is not ideal. That was nice. Good. Not too bad. If I could just get that for one more lap, then we're laughing. We are absolutely laughing. Land on the pad. This has actually not been a bad run. I might PB this. This could be a PB. Hold on. What's it going to say? Oh, it is a PB. Let's go. 219.73. Mate, we take those. Oh, I'm well happy with that. That's like the second PB I've had on camera in this entire series. Just to give you an idea of how often it happens. Spyro circuits by far my favorite bonus track by the way this one is a 21266 also by mateo okay mateo taking a lot of these dlc tracks this of course is my turf spyro's gaff and i do have a lot of fun time trial in this track so i'm looking forward to this squeezing my first little triple there there's a slightly more optimal way to do this part here but still to this day i just jump over the ramp ran out of fire a little bit there so I'm going to have to make sure the drifts are on point. Should be able to just jump straight over that wall. Straight out of bounds. That's more like it. There you go. I'm just going to U-turn around this corner here. Not bad. Pretty textbook start. Now let's try and negotiate this last bit. Last turn. Just want to go right into it. A couple of little hops there. Pretty good first lap. Alright, not too bad. Make sure I try and not get hit by the spell here. Okay, for some reason, doing like a mini U-turn on that part of the shortcut just gives you like way more airtime. I don't know why. Never really tried that before. I thought I'd try it since I've seen other people do it. And for some reason, it works. No one ever said the game had to make sense. Very good second lap. Not so good on the U-turn, though. It's going to be a little bit touch and go, because we have a bit of an awkward wizard here. Oh, we got around him. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That wizard usually gives me a little bit of trouble. Final U-turn. There you go. We could be on for a decent time here again. Okay. I mean, I thought I was playing bad. Apparently not. Come on. Close it out. Oh, that's perfect. Go on. Another PB. Are you fucking kidding me? 209.46. I don't get it. How am I just shitting these out? I mean, I picked a hell of a time to come film this. And the last track we're going to look at today is Nina's Nightmare. Hmm. This is a 150.28 by Sebastian. Sebastian! Uh, this one I'm not so keen on. This is probably my least favorite DLC track. I'm sure I can figure it out against the 150. Don't get me wrong, I love the theme of this map, and I've got no personal grudge against Nina herself. I just... Not that big on the design of the map, honestly. Take a cheeky little grass cut, don't mind if I do. I don't normally do that kind of thing, but I just had a sneaking suspicion that the ghost was going to try and do it. Because they like to sneak those techs in. 
That wasn't too bad. All right. Maybe I'm just biased because I suck at this track. Should gain a little bit of time here. I'm going to cut that corner. Didn't get as many boosts in as I wanted to there. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to lose fire and have to restart the fucking run. That's exactly what I'm going to do with my life. Dickhead. That's what I wanted to do. That is good enough, I think. I'm really bad at doing that part. But it appears that we survived. So now i just got to try and figure the rest of this out. That was a nice cut. I like that. you got to try and sort of get through it without touching the grass. I know that kind of sounds like it's not even possible, but there are ways. It's a bit like slide. Okay. He actually isn't all that far behind me, to be fair. Cuts have been pretty smooth. That was really bad. It's okay. It's the end of the run. That's it. There's a 148.20. Yeah, that one, not quite so fast. We beat the developer. That is now half of the DLC tracks done. And yeah, we draw ever closer to the end of the series. I don't want the series to end. I've enjoyed it too much. It's not even so much the series itself. I'm just having so much fun actually posting CTR. And I'm so glad that people are enjoying it. I've always enjoyed posting it, but it's never really got the best feedback on my channel. But for some reason recently, it's just blown up. That is going to wrap it up for this episode of the Dev Time Trials. All we have left to do is Koala, Gingerbread, Mega Mix, and Gaz Mackies. So we will be covering that in the next and last episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on the notification bell end. Thanks as always for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you in Gasmoxia. Never saying that again.